This is Twit. This is we are in the AI explosion, you know, right now, the Cambrian explosion of AI. Uh rumor today from both Bloomberg and the information that Chat GPT is about to be in it, the new version, Chat GPT four is about to be integrated into Microsoft's Bing search. And this will happen what? in the next yeah, in, in the next few weeks. Microsoft, we've mentioned before, is a big investor in OpenAI, the creators of ChatGPT. And uh, they just put in another four, I'm sorry, $10 billion. Uh, and, you know, initially the deal was to, to get ChatGPT in office. But now uh, the news is we're going to start seeing ChatGPT in Bing. And it won't be the ChatGPT we're used to. It's the new chat bt gpt and this actually addresses your concern stacy because this thing is a monster microsoft in order to do this built a new supercomputer a massive supercomputer uh let me see if i can find the stats for it uh huge amount of storage huge amount of um uh processors yeah, curious to hear to compute the uh, process and power. Yeah, this is Reed Albergati writing. Uh, you know, Reed didn't he write for Gigaom? I feel like he did. He didn't. He used to write for the Information. Information. Okay, he's now at Semaphore, which is a new publication. Mm -hmm. Um, so he, I think he had the stats. Let me see here. In May 2020, a couple of years ago, Microsoft says it built one of the top five publicly disclosed supercomputers in the world in partnership with and exclusively for. Open AI, the computer was going to be used to train extremely large AI models. 285,000 CPUs, 10,000 GPUs, 400 mm. gigabits per second of network connectivity. But, mm. and this is to answer what you were saying about, well, there was a lot to do to write the script and do the voices. Oh, that's the whole point of this is that you could do all this stuff in real time. And not only that, unlike the current chat GPT-3, you could be constantly updated. And that's what makes it useful in search terms. Aha. Uh -huh. Not only will it be constantly spidering the web with for new information, but every query goes into it. Every interaction with you goes into it. But will it be sensitive to fact, as we talked about yes. last week? And that's obviously a big issue. Cause well, how, how do you say that so quickly? Because now it's just as a word predictor. Uh, how do we know that it will know fact from unfact? Well, I mean, it, it, obviously, uh, it's a mistake to put an AI into search if it doesn't actually give you accurate well, that's factual what I'm information. About. But I think it will. I think that's one of the things chat GPT will do. But according to Reed, every chat GPT answer now has a thumbs up and thumbs down. You can write the ideal answer. And so this will all be incorporated into chat GPT four and Bing so that we'll have feedback. You saw, I saw you, I've seen shown you several times this Neva chat. Uh, search yeah, engine, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it it because it makes itself accurate because it's, it it is only summarizing published information from reliable sources, and I presume that's what they would do with Bing, right? So you're not just making up stuff out of whole cloth, but you're saying, well, Wikipedia, Microsoft, and you know, Semaphore say this with footnotes and everything. I think that's going to be possibly. So anyway. I just asked ChatGPT to tell a joke in the style of, about AI in the style of Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah. I, I, I'm not so critical of the show now. Uh, the answer was, why did the AI cross the road to get to the other side of the data set? Yeah, never mind. Uh, I said, oh. you could do better than that. And it said, okay, here's another one. Why did the AI refuse to do the dishes? Because it was afraid of doing a deep learning experience. Yeah, no, oh. this is just chat. Oh. That's a toy. What you're using is a toy. I, think, I know, I know, but it's- a, I it's, think what we're talking about here is, is going to be a different- thing entirely i'm hoping it will be obviously it won't and this is what's scaring the hell out of google right now in fact you know the side-by-side -side story is google's chat testing a chat gpt like chat bot called apprentice bard which is not a great name <laughs> well i think it's a code name not a brand name. okay it's uh <laughs> yeah. using lambda which that's the one that uh, brent lemoyne said was sentient uh, they're ch they're also testing. This is according to Jennifer Elias for CNBC. New search page designs that integrate the chat technology. This is going to happen very quickly, and more employees have been asked to test this internally. That's probably how she's getting the uh, the story. 
The gin. Yes. The Alphabet Company is working on a project under its cloud unit called Atlas, which is a code red effort to respond to chat GPT. There's also Apprentice Bart. So that's another one. Their employees can ask questions and get detailed answers. I also heard that uh, Google has invited Larry and Sergey back to help them with this. <laughs> hmm. And Sergey just put in his first uh, code in years. I put in that in the rundown. It's fascinating. Uh, first code that's... request. What does that mean, by the way, a code request? I, I, a request or a commit? It yeah. said just filed his first code request in years. That sounds like a mistranslation Forbes. of what he did. Sure so. does. Yeah, that's no, sure. No. File his first request and access. Oh, request to access code. To oh, I see. So he wanted to see. He wanted because this stuff's not on GitHub. You have to actually say, "Hey, can I look at that uh, <laughs> Lambda code?" <laughs> Two sources said this is Forbes. Uh, I should always say who's writing Forbes staff. It's staff members. So that's okay. Better. Richard Neva and Alex Conrad say. Uh, Two sources said the request was related to Lambda. There's that name again. Google's mm -hmm. natural language chatbot. Uh, Bryn filed a CL, short for change list, to gain access to the data that trains Lambda. It, it, it was a two-line change to a configuration file just to add his name to the code. <laughs> oh. Several dozen engineers gave the request LGTM approval, which means looks good to me. <laughs> oh. LGTM. <laughs> I need a rubber wow. stamp that says LGTM. That's good. Yeah, I think so. That's a good idea. Some of the approvals came from workers outside the team, seemingly eager just to be able to say they gave code review approval <laughs> to Sergey Brin. <laughs> Sounds like something at Twitter. Yeah. Well, well yeah, they I don't know. print out his code and show it to. Uh, it's weird. Larry. Do you think Larry and Sergey like, are still geniuses that could come in and. In this I'm sure they're still geniuses, but I'm I, I got a hunch they don't care. <laughs> I don't feel like <laughs> Sergey has worn shoes in years. I don't. What's their legacy? Is he working on? He's working on several government initiatives related to AI. Is oh, he? is he? Oh, oh, he is. Didn't know. Okay, thank you. Well, oh, he's he's a a, a magnate for formally. Bryn's code um, request thought... also received some snark from Googlers, says Forbes. In response, one person commented, fix Google first. Another Ooh. person wrote, Ooh. at least talk to us. A Ooh. reference to the distance Ooh. of the co-founders over the last few years. Ow. Some people linked to posts from Google's internal memes forum. Some of the memes showed <laughs> you and me, Jeff, fighting. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Old people fighting. Old people fighting. Could have been, Leo. Could have been. been. Like uh, maybe those two Muppets, right? Yeah. Wald Statler and Waldorf. I don't, Waldorf. I don't think this code looks good. Me neither. <laughs> looks like a monkey wrote it. Uh, anyway. Uh, now, that's the report. Before, we want to make sure we mention that Mr. Alvergetti will be on Tech News Weekly this week. Oh, for an oh interview. to talk about this. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Reed's great. Very good. Good get. Reed's, yeah, good get. That's great. My and to God. hear more about what the plans are for Semaphore, too. Yeah, I like Semaphore so far. Um, I that We're quoting from it. That's a good sign. He's got some scoops. It could be, you know, it could be we just, we're leading right into another AI winter. We've been around long enough, you and me, Jeff, to remember, you know, all the uh, excitement over AI. This has happened several times in the past. Mm -hmm. I was going to transform everything and it ended up, oh, I can't do anything. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> If you love all things Android, well, I've got a show for you to check out. It's called All About Android, and I'll give you three guesses what we talk about. We talk about Android, the latest news, hardware, apps. We answer feedback. It's me, Jason Howell, Ron Richards, Win Twit Dow, and a whole cast of awesome characters talking about the operating system that we love. You can find All About Android at twit.tv slash AAA.